Why do animals have to hurt each other? I love them all, and I hate to think about them being in pain. It wasn't in God's plan for animals to hurt each other. They do that because of sin. Hi, my name is Zach. This is Keys for Kids, and today we'll start a brand new week of stories and scriptures just for you. Do you ever wonder why bees sting or snakes bite? They're just trying to protect themselves from other animals or people that might want to hurt them. But that wasn't part of God's plan for the world. See, his original design for Earth didn't include pain or sadness. It was only when sin entered that animals and people became capable of hurting each other. But God had a solution, and that is his son, Jesus. One day he'll return to put everything back the way it was before. That means no more bee stings or snake bites. Here's our story today. It's called The Leopard and the Goat. Sarah loved working with her dad on Saturdays and holidays. He was a large animal veterinarian who took care of several farms in the area. She helped him give vaccinations and bandage wounds. Once, Sarah even watched a foal being born. At Riverside Ranch, Sarah handed her father a blood collection tube that he attached to the end of a syringe. Blood flowed from the large gray horse into the tube. Just as he placed the tube into a plastic carrier, her father's cell phone rang. We have an emergency, he told Sarah after he hung up. He grabbed the carrier and headed for the truck. Sarah picked up some gauze, antiseptic, and discarded wrappers as she followed him out of the barn. What happened? she asked when she caught up to him. One of Mr. Samuel's geldings was snake bit on his nose. We need to make sure the swelling doesn't interfere with his breathing. Her father drove out the ranch gate and headed down the road. Sarah felt sad. She loved all animals and couldn't stand the thought of one being in pain or unable to breathe. When they arrived at the farm, Sarah's heart sank at the sight of the horse. His face was all swollen. He looked miserable. Fortunately, they had arrived in time to administer medication that soon helped. Keep an eye on him, Sarah's dad told Mr. Samuels as they packed up their supplies. But I'm sure he'll do fine. On the way home, Sarah couldn't stop thinking about the horse. Why do animals have to hurt each other? she asked. The snake was just protecting itself from being stepped on, said Dad. In our world broken by sin, animals and people will hurt one another for many different reasons, but we have hope. What do you mean? When Jesus comes back, he will heal the earth and free it from the brokenness caused by sin, replied Dad. All who trust in Jesus will live with him forever, and there will be peace among both animals and people. The leopard will lie down with the goat, and babies will be able to play with cobras. Wow, said Sarah. She wished Jesus would come soon. So how about you? Do you ever watch documentaries about animals in the wild? It's hard to see alligators attacking otters or lions stalking gazelles for food. The news can also be distressing. There are so many stories about people doing terrible things to other people. But God has a plan. One day Jesus will come back to rule the earth. He'll change everything. Sin and death will be gone forever, and all people and animals will live in peace. Our key verse is found in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 9. They shall not hope nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And our key thought today, Jesus will bring peace. You know, I love reading the Keys for Kids stories to you every day, and I sure hope that you love listening. Make sure that you don't miss a single day with the brand new Keys for Kids smartphone app. Just get your parents' help and go to your app store and search for the words Keys for Kids. Well, as always, my name is Zach. Thanks for listening to Keys for Kids today. Don't forget to share it with a friend, and I'll catch you both right back here tomorrow. Tomorrow.